Okay, and we talked about death heads in a different video, but I actually have them in two enclosures because they are... This is a different cultivar because that's a thing in the roach hobby. There are different areas that have done... This is a death heads from a Californian university. They were cultured. Um, again, a lot of springtails in here. Keep everything from molding. Um, and then I also have the Oblongata hissers, which is one of the largest species, also called a wide horn hisser. Um, so this is a nymph. Um, this is my only colony of hisser that has beneficial mites. You can see one crawling back there. Oop, hey buddy, I know, I know, I know, I know. He wants to go. There's that mite down the center. So those actually keep hissers clean, but I hear they're hisser species specific, so I can't get them into my other colonies. It's just in this colony. Um, yeah, and then we've got, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. oh my goodness, let's find an adult that's a little less kicky, okay, come on, oof, so the, the tissers are a lot easier to handle than these monsters, but there we go, there's a Halloween decoration of a roach, this is called a death head, oop, and there he goes, very shy, not interested in being handled, um, great for a tarantula feeder species, oop. There we go. Get that picture of that head in there without the shine. There we go. That's a death head roach. Great feeder species. Um, beautiful adults. I actually have an enclosure out front that has the death heads. And they stay out. They actually do a really good job staying out. And then some of the nymphs from that species look a lot like dubias. Um, that species also, again, doesn't climb. So it would be a good compost bin if you want a compost bin that you can throw all your carrot scraps and some stuff in and, and also has a super rad critter in it. That would be the death heads. So this is another combo colony. Like I said, it's not suggested in the hobby, but I'm trying a couple different species together. I feel like the hisser species work really well with different uh, blabberous and eublabberous species. So we're going to see what comes of that. Um, and yeah, just roaches upon roaches of critters around here. I'm just going to keep showing a couple different species and post a couple more videos. Thanks.